सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सेकंड पार्ट लक्ष्मीज फादर 49 नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही इज फोर ईयर्स ओल्डर देन थ्री टाइम्स लक्ष्मीज एज वॉट इज लक्ष्मीज एज लेट लक्ष्मीज एज बी एक्स ईयर्स लेट लक्ष्मीज एज बी एक्स ईयर्स सो his father is four more than three times so father's age father's age is equal to 3x plus 4 years now lakshmi's father is 49 years old so since he is 49 years old and his age is this that is 3x plus 4 equal to 45. Well, sorry, 4. 3x plus 4 equal to 49. So according to the question, 3x plus 4 equal to 49. Transpose this 4. So 3x equal to 49 minus 4. 3x is equal to 45. X is equal to 45 divided by 3, 3, 15. X is equal to 15. So here it is said, what is Lakshmi's age? Lakshmi's age is therefore Lakshmi's age equal to 15. next part third one third part people of sundargram planted trees in the village garden some of the trees were fruit trees the number of non fruit trees were two more than three times the number of fruit trees two more than three times so what was the number of fruit trees planted if the number of non fruit trees planted was 77 so let the number of fruit trees be x let the number of fruit trees be x so three times so non fruit trees and the number of non fruit trees trees is equal to it is said that non fruit trees were two more than four times that is 4x plus three times that is 3x plus 2 now 3x plus 2 but here number of non fruit trees are 77 that is 3x plus 2 equal to 77 so according to the question 3x plus to 77 so 3x is equal to 77 minus 2 3x is equal to 75 3x is equal to 75 so x is equal to 75 upon 3 3 25 that is equal to 25 therefore therefore number of fruit trees number of fruit trees is equal to 25 
सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सॉल्व द फॉलोइंग रिडल आई एम अ नंबर टेल माई आइडेंटिटी टेक मी सेवन टाइम्स ओवर एंड एड फिफ्टी टू रीच द ट्रिपल सेंचुरी यू स्टिल नीड फोर्टी सो लेट द नंबर बी एक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर लेट द नंबर बी एक्स हियर इट इज सेड सेवन टाइम्स टेल मी टेक मी सेवन टाइम्स दैट इज सेवन एक्स एंड एड फिफ्टी You reach to triple century, triple century three into hundred. You still need forty. You still need forty. So seven x plus ninety equal to three hundred. Transpose ninety. Seven x equal to three hundred minus ninety. Seven x equal to two hundred ten. x equal to 210 divided by 7 7 is a 21 0 0 x equal to 30 therefore required number equal to 30 now chapter 5 lines and angles so in lower classes you have studied about the line segment point line angles so what is a line segment a line segment has two end points if we extend this if we extend the two end points on either sides endlessly we get a line so we denote a line segment by pq line segment pq and line by this now angle an angle is formed when two lines or line segments meet with each other at one vertex at one point this is the vertex initial line terminating line and this is the angle formed by the two lines now what are complementary angles what are complementary angles sum of the two angles uh, is 90 degree so the sum complementary angles the sum of the measure of the angles is 90 degree so a b c d if the sum of these two angles is 90 degree then it is complementary angles and if the sum of the two angles that is this angle and this angle adjacent angles is 180 degree then it is supplementary angles now what what are adjacent angles adjacent angles have the same 
common vertex common r they have common vertex common r and the non common arms are on either side of the common r so it is adjacent angle exercise 5.1 exercise 5.1 here it is said find the complementary angles of 20 degree so complementary angle complementary angle of 20 degree since the sum of the angles is 90 degree then those angles will be complementary angles so subtract this angle from 90 you will get the other angle so 90 minus 20 you will get 70 degree this is 70 degree is the complementary angle of 20 degree now 63 degree second one complementary angle of 63 Degree. So 90 degree minus 60 degree. Subtract it. You will get 27. Now third one. Complementary angle of 57 degree. 90 minus 57 equal to 33 degree. Now, supplementary angles. Question number two. First one. Supplementary angle of one hundred five degree. It is sum of the angles. If the sum of the angles is one eighty degree, then those angles. Will be supplementary angles. So subtract 105 from 180 degree. So 180 minus 105 equal to 75 degree. So similarly you do second and third part. Uh, 180 minus 87 degree. 180 minus 154 degree. Question number three. Identify which of the following pairs of angles are supplementary and which are complementary. So if add these angles, if you, uh, if the sum is 90 degree. Then complementary angles. If the sum is uh, 180 degree, then it will be supplementary angles. So let's do first part. 63 degree and 165 degree and 115 degree. So 65 degree plus 100. 5 plus 5, 10, 7, 8, 180 degree. So supplementary, and this. Now second, 63, 27, 63, 27. So 63 plus 27, 10. Seven to nine, so complementary angles. Rest of the parts you do by yourself. Now question number four. Question number four. 